finally revealed us the status of the city's investigation into ultra-Orthodox Jewish schools and how they fare preparing students for lives beyond their own communities. Three years after the start of the probe into secular education at yeshivas, a letter from city schools chancellor Richard Carranza to the state's education commissioner notes some progress but takes to task. 15 of about 30 schools slated for visits where investigators never went in. That to me is not an acceptable state of affairs. Mayor Bill de Blasio, criticized for not pursuing this aggressively enough, says the holdout yeshivas cannot hide. We suddenly got a communication saying some of them now will invite our DOE officials in. Access was never denied by those schools. Attorney Avi Shik and other supporters of the yeshivas with parents for educational and religious liberty in schools or pearls say curriculum has changed to include more reading and math. We came here to talk to Chancellor Carranza about his letter, which he says is a simple update and in no way closes the book on the investigation. The investigation is still ongoing. And if someone were to read that letter and say, wow, it looks like roadblocks were put in your way, would you say that's true? Uh, I think it's important that we have an opportunity to go to visit the schools that have not been visited yet. This city investigation began in 2015 with complaints from the group Young Advocates for a Fair Education, or YAFED, headed by Naftali Moster, who says his own yeshiva education was shockingly incomplete. To this day, I still experience major gaps and challenges as a result. If yeshivas get so much funding from taxpayer dollars, there have to be strings attached. How much government oversight is appropriate in your opinion. Government has to regulate with a very loose hand, not a very heavy hand. That's, a, that's part of what we're fighting for. A fight that proceeds with more yeshiva doors swinging open. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Dave Carlin, CBS2 News.